Well, hello guys. As you know, I bought a Mega Quest 3 and been playing quite a few VR games, of course. Yes, of course, I played Half-Life Alex. Very, very good game, even though it's quite old, really. In fact, I played through it twice. May even play through it a third time on the hardest level. But then I saw Metro had come out with a VR game. And some of the Metro games were quite good. And although it hasn't been out very long, the reviews seemed kind of mixed. Then I looked at the price, and the price wasn't that high. I think it was £34 on Steam. I got it somewhere else for £24. And I've been playing the game for, I don't know, four hours or so. But I've had to stop many times. Why? Because of the frustration I felt. The mechanics are terrible. At least for me. And I know it's supposed to be kind of dark and create the atmosphere. But most of the times it's so dark you can't see anything. And let's talk about the graphics. Well, the graphics look like it's a game made in maybe 2020. Maybe even earlier. And even some of the Metro fans have to admit there's a few issues. But they still try to prop the game up. Because they're Metro fans, of course they would. Do you think the people that made Metro would make the first VR game for Metro a memorable one? Then they seem to have done that. <laughs> but all for the wrong reasons. And let's get to the dialogue and story. The dialogue seems to be written by a ten-year-old. It's very, very corny. Using the gun counter doesn't feel like using anything. You're shooting, but it doesn't feel as though anything's happening. I mean, it's dead. Man, I guess the people that made Metro must have known something because they didn't charge full price for it, did they? Not exactly a top-tier game, then. To me, the game looks like it's been rushed. Well, of course, I'm going to continue playing it and see if I can get into it. But my first reactions are very disappointing. Well, I know there's lots of reviews out there saying it's fantastic, it's wonderful. But they're mostly coming from Metro fans already. And they probably think it's great to be able to get into Metro World in VR. But it's no good if the world looks crap. I look at a game, it doesn't matter what it is, for graphics, playability, basically quality and enjoyment. I've been more frustrated in this game than actually having fun. But I'm a stubborn guy and I'll stay with it. And if it gets better, I'll let you know. You take it easy, fellas.